Hello, welcome to my 5 MB Excel class. Today we will be talking about a very exciting topic to automate some of the HR calculations with Power Query. Myself, Mohammad Menazuddin Rupam, will be guiding you through. So let us delve into the exercise file. I have column from A to H that includes the employee ID, employee name, department, gender, date of birth, date of joining, basic salary, and absent days of employees. So I have around like 50 employees information here and we need to find out the age of every employee from this date of birth. If anyone is above 50 years, then we need to show the status in a separate column as need to develop successors. Otherwise, it's fine. And the second challenge is find the confirmation date that is six months from the joining date and find the job tenure from the same column and we need to find out the absenteeism deduction amount from these two columns so you guys do this with some excel formulas however with excel formulas things are not automated so i will show you the power query calculations that will create the automation in your file so that you can just copy paste your new information and power query will do the rest so as you can see my data set is already uh, plotted as a table and the table name is master hr data so let us take it to power query from data from table and we are here in the power query area so I just want to change the type of this two columns because these are along with the time I don't need the time I only need the date so uh, after selecting these columns I will go to home and go to data type and select date from here and I will replace the current and I will also select the basic salary column and change the data type to currency now I'm ready to do the other calculations that is required so the first task would be to find the age okay so that is quite easy in power queries so just select the date of birth go to add column go to date and select age okay as you can see these are in days format so now I will go to transform and go to duration and select total years that will convert this to years and now I will round this up to calculate the age so this is the age calculation and then we have a condition uh, that is if anyone is above 50 years then show need to create successors otherwise it's fine so again we will go to add column select conditional column and set this as age action probably and then I will select if age is greater than 50 then need to create successors or else it's fine you can 
actually add many more clauses here but since we have two conditions it's fine with me and I will press OK you can see that for age 49 it's fine but for 63 it needs to create successor and same with the others that are above 50 right now the second task is to find the confirmation date that is six months from the joining date so now we need to go to custom column here and set the column title as confirmation date and write a function that is date dot add months first bracket then I will select the date of joining and tell Excel that I want to add six months to date of joining to find the confirmation date, right? Close bracket, press OK, and the task is done. It's super easy. So I will just confirm it as a date. OK. Now, the next task is to find out the job tenure. So I will go to date of joining and I will go to add column, go to date, select age, go to transform, select duration, total years, and you can round up. and change the title job tenure the work is done and now we need to find the absenteeism deduction amount so what we will do is we'll go to add column and then select custom column and select the absenteeism deduction column name now what we need to do is we need to first select the basic salary and it should be multiplied with 12 for the whole year and divide with 365 since we have 365 days in a year so this will allow us to calculate the per day rate of an employee right then we will multiply this with the absent days right the work is done press OK and you have your absenteeism deduction amount let us convert this to currency the work is done I will set the query as master HR data and I will press home close and load close and load two, and I will select it as a table and in a new worksheet obviously and load it and now you can see the data so if you want to just remove every other information that is used for calculation you can remove this so I will again go to the query area select date of birth up to the absent days and press delete from keyboard and it will just delete the data right and again I will go to close and load close and load now you can see the summary of your calculated data right so the last information we have is for Veronica pattern right and in our raw data area I have some more information and the uh, first one is for Shirley Misham and the last one is 
Hans Gosman, right? So let us add this data, right, to our existing table. And it's been added to the existing table. And let us go to our Power Query table area. And I will just simply right click and refresh. You can see all the data is been transformed the way we transform it with Power Query and everything is ready with a refresh click only. So that is magical. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed the video, please like the video, share, uh, share this with your near ones, your references and feel free to comment uh, if you want to know more and uh, i want to share that there is also a training coming up how to automate hr dashboard reporting with excel and that is only planned on 18th and 19th december just click on the link to register yourself uh, there are exciting offers as well uh, for uh, the first 10 registration, there are 50% discount on the regular fees and there are early birds till 7 December. So hurry up and register for this training to know more about Power Query and how to integrate this with HR dashboard and reporting. So see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.